Are you looking to add your Jot form to a Shopify store, but you just don't know how? Well, on this video, I'm going to show you two methods to accomplish this. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to Jot Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to embed your Jot Form. Now, it might be a little bit tricky at the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it's going to be easy. Now, let's get started by creating our registration form that we're going to embed on Shopify. Now, let's start with create a form. And in this case, we're going to use a template. Let's select the registration form category, and we can go ahead and view these, see which one we like. We can go ahead and preview them by selecting it, and we can use the template. If we don't like this one, we can go ahead and close this and select another one. So for example, we can see this one, simple list form. It's a registration for a guest list. Um, it's kind of simple. We'll choose this one just to make it really easy. Let's go ahead and choose this template. And remember, once we choose a template, we can go ahead and edit our form so we can customize it to our liking. We don't have to stick with what it says there. We can customize any aspect of this form. But for this case, we're going to keep it just like it is. Now, let's go into publish platforms and we're going to search for Shopify. We're going to select this. And this is the code that we are going to need. This is for method number one. Let's go ahead and copy this code and let's head on over to our Shopify store. So this is my Shopify dashboard. This is how you're going to be greeted. And we're going to view our online store here. If we click on online store, we can go ahead and view it there. But what we're going to go is head on over to pages. And in pages, we're going to add a new page. For this one, we're going to call it registration form. And for the embed code to work, we're going to click on this one, show HTML code. And this is where we're going to paste the code that we grabbed from dot form. So that way we have this. So let's go ahead and save this. All right, let's go back into our pages. And we have the registration page available now. Let's go ahead and view this page. And there we go. Our job form has now been embedded on the Shopify store. Now we can use the job form form as our native form. That way we don't have to use the built in form from Shopify. That's way more limited than the job form one. Now, the second method to embed the form is this one. So let's go back into Shopify. And the first thing that we we're going to have to do is to add a special app that's going to allow us to add an HTML code. Now let's go into apps and we're going to go into apps and sell settings. We're going to go into apps and we're going to go into recommended apps. And right here on the bottom, we're going to see find more apps in the Shopify app store. So let's click on that. And this is going to open up the whole range of apps that are available on Shopify. And we're going to type in HTML and hit enter. Once we click on that, we're going to get a list of apps that have HTML. And the one that we are going to use is this one right here. Easy content, HTML, CSS, embeds. So we're going to select that and we're going to install it. In this case, I've already installed it. Okay. So once we have installed it, let's go back into our Shopify section and we're going to go into apps, click on the one that we've installed. So this is the installed apps available. Let's click on it. We're going to go into global settings and we're going to make sure that the app is activated. If it says no, change it to yes and save the changes, right? So now let's go into content and we're going to create a content. So let's go ahead and click create a content and we're going to name this something that you might find later on. So in this case, I'll just call it job form one and we're going to use HTML. So custom HTML. Now for the content, we're going to need the embed code from iframe on job form. So let's go back into job form. And in this case, we're not going to use the platforms. We're going to use the embed code from over here. And in this one, we're going to select iframe. In iframe, let's go ahead and copy this, go back to Shopify, and let's paste our code right here. Now let's scroll all the way down here and save this. There we go, it's been saved. Let's go back, and we're gonna need this code that this app provided us, okay? So let's copy this code. So now it's been copied, let's click OK, and let's go back into our theme. So we're going to online store, this is a theme that we're actually using right now. Let's go into customize and be aware that this 
type of method is not available on all the pages of Shopify. So do consider that. So for example, if I click on add section, we don't see the apps. Let's go back here. You don't see the apps right here. There's no blocks here. But if we go to different type of pages, so for example, if we go into products and default products, just for example, and in this section, for example, we're able to embed it. So let's just say that we want to embed our job form right here. So we'll click on add a section and we can see this. Let's go down here on the apps. We have custom content embed. So let's click on this one. And then we have the settings here on the right. Now, this is where we're going to add our code. So let's go ahead and paste the iframe code over here. Sometimes we have to enable render content on all products. There we go. So it doesn't rely on products. And now we have embedded the, our job form here on Shopify. Now, one of the benefits of this second method is that we can embed this in different sections of our theme. But the downside of it is that it's not available on all parts of the theme. So do consider the pros and cons of using this second method. But there you go. That is how you're going to embed your registration form on Shopify. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.